If you have traveled on the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft over the past six months, there's a good chance you've come across a map art with the appearance of a newspaper. It's called the 2B2T Times, and this map art has been copied over 750,000 times. It's unlike any other map art to come before it. It's located at a facility where automated accounts running Baritone can create a full-size news story in under an hour. If you have the map in your possession, you can actually see the news change in real time. The technology behind how this process works is actually fascinating, and it turns out running an automated server-wide newspaper is a lot harder than you would expect. On top of resource management and distribution of the maps using actual players, there have been sabotage attempts involving the map ID system, and one group even tried extortion, to the point of causing a server-wide conflict. Running a Minecraft business for fun has never been more complicated. So today, we'll discuss the unique history of the 2B2T Times, the server's first fully automated newspaper, explain why it was created, how a conflict started because of it, and document some of the unique technology that's never been seen before in 2B2T's history. Speaking of history, what do you call it when history meets action? You get World of Tanks. World of Tanks is a free online game played by more than 100 million players. Roll out across open fields, climb steep hills, and tear across many different open environments with over 600 different kinds of tanks. The models and vehicle characteristics are historically accurate, making you feel like a real tank commander. You can rush in guns blazing, or ambush your opponents with sneaky tactics. Work together with your team to claim victory in more than 40 different battle arenas. Whether you're a novice or a pro, jump into a global community today by clicking the link in the description and then using the code TANKMANIA when you register. You'll receive the tank Excelsior, 250,000 credits, and seven days of premium access, as well as have the ability to take higher tier tanks for a test ride. So what are you waiting for? Thanks again to World of Tanks for sponsoring today's video. Now then, let's get started. So where did the concept of an automatically updating map art come from? And why has a conflict started because of it? Well, it all began last year in July of 2021. A 2B2T player calling himself Force Ken was trying to think of some new ideas to bring to the server. Ken is the same person that started the 2B2T Fight Club, built a completely invisible base that could only be seen up close, and been involved in several other notable server projects. One thing they all had in common, though, was that they involved the usage of map art in some capacity. Ken's next project would also involve map creation, and was an idea he had wanted to try for a while. A detailed newspaper map art that would allow anyone with a copy to read it and stay informed on server happenings. It could also be a way to cover smaller groups and events that received less recognition from the general community. It was a neat idea, but there was an issue. Creating map art by hand is a massive undertaking, and even using schematics, it can be hard to obtain all the necessary materials. Carpet duping machines used to be standard, but when these were patched by the server's admin, Housemaster, map artists had to manually gather their resources. Ken knew that if the process of building the art was automated by bots, and the materials the map was made out of could be recycled, having a frequently updated newspaper was entirely possible. So he came up with the name, the 2B2T Times, and after finding an empty plot of land, started his work. Not long after, Ken finished construction of the 2B2T Times headquarters. This unique facility had everything necessary for the mass scale production of map art, including an auto cow farm, redstone sugarcane harvesters, and a large storage facility for the other materials. Instead of using carpets, which could be ignited by lightning strikes, Ken decided to use concrete instead, as it was both vibrant and fireproof. The actual newspaper image would be created using map art craft, and then turned into a schematic which would be used by baritone bots to automatically build it. 
multiple bots running at the same time would speed up the construction process, as they were instructed to collect any loose concrete lying around. With all bots running at the same time, a map could be deconstructed and rebuilt in about an hour, an impressive speed. Ken had created the first edition of the 2B2T Times, and his map art creation process was solid. But along came the next problem, distribution. There was no way a single person could deliver the papers all over the server, so Ken created a team to help him with his mission. These brave volunteers traveled all over 2B2T's highway system. They would place maps in strategic locations where they would be most likely to be picked up by travelers. In addition to deliveries, Ken would consult his team on which stories to cover in the paper itself, making the process more democratic. For the next few months, the Times would produce a new issue every week, covering everything from server events, exploits, and even the occasional comic. People who already had a copy could see the story change in real time. As the newspaper gained popularity and became more recognized in the community, it was only a matter of time before someone would attempt to take advantage of this. Selling in-game items for real-world money is a common practice on the server, with item shops competing with each other to make the most profit. Ken was approached by one of these item shops and was asked if he would be willing to run an advertisement for them. He refused, stating the Times was an unbiased news source and that advertising an item shop would go against the entire idea. Upon hearing this, the shop owner decided extortion would be a better method. He told Ken that if he didn't run an advertisement for them, he would force a map ID reset every single day. Let me explain. In Minecraft Java version 1.12, which is the version 2B2T is currently on, only 32,000 maps can exist at once. If this limit is reached, the number rolls over, creating non-functioning maps in the negatives. Once that limit is reached, the number rolls back to the positives, causing every single map on the server to reset its image. This method of resetting maps happens semi-frequently, but to happen every single day would cause problems. It would make every distributed copy of the Times completely blank, which could force the newspaper to shut down. Or so the shop owner thought. But Ken was prepared for this exact scenario, and he had a secret weapon ready to go. The 2B2T Times kept an account logged in 24-7 that would automatically create a new map every 8 hours. This allowed Ken to remotely see how many map IDs were currently in use. If a reset was going to happen, they could log in and reclaim their old ID, preventing the times from going blank. Even if the map ID had been lost, Ken had a private method of resetting all the map IDs by himself in only a few hours. His method of accomplishing this is a highly kept secret for obvious reasons. But whenever members of the item shop would cause a map reset, the 2B2T Times had their specific ID back after only an hour. A simple extortion attempt had turned into an all-out conflict, and if you were a map artist during this time, you were probably pretty upset that your works of art kept going blank. But eventually, the item shop realized that their attempts at putting the newspaper out of business were futile. And so, they threw in the towel and gave up. The 2B2T Times had outlasted them, which motivated Ken's entire team to continue to expand the project. By 2022, over 750,000 map copies had been created and delivered across the entire server. By this point, it was almost impossible to travel the highways without finding a copy. I had actually come across the paper several times in my travels, and of course, I was initially skeptical of the claim that the stories were updated automatically. To reassure me, Ken actually invited me out to the Times headquarters to see the process in person. After taking a quick tour of the facility, Ken logged in and began making preparations. The next story was going to celebrate six months of continuous operation. After logging them in, Ken's bots came to life and began working. While one was destroying the previous story, another would begin creating the new one at the same time. 
Looking down at the map, it was cool to see it actually updating in real time. There were some comments in public chat of players thinking that the map was currently being griefed. The fact that it was noticed almost immediately just goes to show how widespread this map has actually become. For about one hour, I watched as the bots did their work, mining concrete, collecting it, and reusing it. After a little over an hour, the process was complete, and it was cool to see the finished product up close. Ken has plans to continue expanding the newspaper, and once the server finally updates in the near future, the 1.12 map limit will actually be removed, which will save a lot of time and effort. But for a server that's been stuck on the same version for so long, the 2B2T Times is yet another creative idea that has survived conflict and connected players together in an otherwise hostile environment. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. So take it easy, FitFam, and stay connected out there.